Hi, I'm Chris Tronson with Pacific Rim Video, and we are outside of SIPA in historic Filipino town where in just moments we'll be talking with Joel Torre, legendary actor who is the lead actor in the film Amigo. So let's go inside. At the turn of the 19th century, the United States declared war on Spain. This conflict brought them to another nation, halfway around the world, where they decided to stay. Hi everyone, this is Chris Tronson with Pacific Rim Video here talking to the legendary actor Joel Torrey about his role in Amigo and other things. So before we get into that, um, first time back in California in four years. So um, what did you miss most about, you know, being out here? Well, uh, the thing I miss most is um, just being California. Yeah. It's so different from the Philippines. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, of course, friends here. And um, well, this is the showbiz capital of the world, and yeah. um, we're here to promote Amigo. Yeah, and um, you've been doing nonstop press for it, and you just got back from New York. So that was the opening on the East Coast. How was the reception? Did people enjoy it? What, what was it a little? You know, can you tell us a little bit about how it was? Uh, it's been a great ride. Um, Amigo opened the Asian American Film Festival, and uh, we were received very well. The Filipinos who saw the film, they are really proud of it. Um, and um, a lot of people in the industry really liked it. And uh, then I moved to Washington, D.C. to reach out to the Filipino community because we, what we want is uh, for the Filipinos to come out and come out in the theaters and watch Amigo. So I mean, we need the support of the community. And Amigo is really about them. Yeah. It's about the relationship between Philippines and America. And while doing the opening or while doing any of the press, has there been people that might, you know, they're not part of the Filipino community? Have you seen them kind of their eyes open? Because this film really is on a subject that doesn't get talked or shown a lot about. Yeah, that's right. That's very right. Uh, I grew up not knowing about, not knowing much about the Filipino-American war. It wasn't taught in our history books. Yeah. And uh, it was a Neither was it taught in the American history books. Uh, so that's what got John interested. Uh, how come only a few people know about this? And right, we got reactions, um, especially in the Philippines when we showed it, oh, there was such a war? Wow. They, they, they would think it was about um, the Second World War. And even, mind you, teachers at that, they didn't, they're not aware of the war. So I think by John's intent, to show this part of our history is, uh, I think, success enough. The best thing that came out of it really is that, that, is that people know about it and that um, the schools have picked it up. In the Philippines, the Department of Education has um, you know, endorsed it, and wow. now a lot of universities and schools wants to screen it and bring it to the universities. And what I picked up from New York, there were some schools in New York who are interested to show the film. And I think that's success enough for, for you. I mean, yeah, that's the awareness that there was such a war. I need a garrison here. My boys are hot to go, Colonel. Stay I need here. a garrison. I know me, but by you. Tell him we're staying here to protect his village from the Ladrones. He's still head man. If there's trouble, it's his head. The character, the main character named Raphael. So <clears> first, <throat> when you got the script and you read it, what about Raphael really attracted you to the role? Well, <clears throat> the first reaction was I couldn't believe that um, John Sales would write a character with me in mind. That's so rare, maybe because uh, we were together, we'd known each other for a long time, but it put a lot of pressure on me. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Uh, the one thing I really like because about Raphael is um, he's there for his family. Yeah. He's there for, for survival all this uncertainty, how complex the character was that he has to balance between, you know, uh, the Philippine side and the American side and all this, anytime he'll, he'll get it to, with two guns pointed at him. So it is a very interesting character to play. And uh, usually you'd be, you can be very stereotype, stereotypical to play, you know, in this uh, really angst, but you have to play it differently that to show that family that things will be okay, but 
the palm oil is just inside and it's anytime it's gonna explode it's like an implosion yeah and uh, that's what I was working on uh, it's not just just external of you know uh, showing things like that but hiding hiding the fear hiding the fact that anytime I'll go and I won't see my family and I, I won't be able to defend the village and uh, what will I do yeah so that's for an actor that's uh, that's a lot of things to work on and plus <laughs> John put the pressure in me said you know what uh, when they were shooting um, Raging Bull uh, <laughs> De Niro had to have uh, two weeks, he was, they were shooting two weeks into the project and they had to reshoot because he didn't get the character. So, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. okay, I have to get it. I yeah, have yeah. to get it right before sh shoot. And I have a lot of time. I have enough time to prepare. But uh, luckily, or I say, um, in insightly, it came on me like two weeks before the shoot. And I was doing all my preparations, um, you know, um, Doing all my meditation, it just done it. Poof! There's Raphael, and then I got it. And two weeks before, uh, two days before, or the day that shoot, I wasn't as pressured as I was. So it was a uh, good sailing for me. Kailangan ka namin sa loob kasama ng mga Amerikano, pero bilang kaibigan ng revolusyon. Ask him what he knows about this. He won't talk. His own brother is the jefe of the insurrectors. And gloves are coming off, gentlemen. But we have done with the carrot for the moment. And it is time to employ the stick. Now, your character in the film deals, you know, starts starts off the film dealing with um, the Spanish. Mm -hmm. And then he deals with the Americans. He also has, um, you know, his family, like you said, yeah. your brother. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about the conflict, you know, Raphael goes through throughout the whole film with, you know, he, he's kind of torn in so many directions. Mm -hmm. Kind of, can you talk about that a little bit? And also, how as an actor, what your where your mind was at playing somebody that was such a, you know, big part of all this, you know, different mm -hmm. conflict. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Rafael dealt with the Spanish before and um, being a politician, a small, like, may, little mayor in, in this town, um, he knew how to deal with the Spanish, but here comes somebody alien and not knowing how to deal with them. And so um, as, a, as a person, I had to rely on a lot of uh, personal inventory. I had to get things from my own experiences when, you know, you're, you're put in the same situation. And mind you, I had a lot of those where, you know, I would carry the world in my shoulder yeah. and I was at last. And uh, being a co-producer was one. And uh, I've been through a lot of situations where, you know, uh, two guns were pointed at me. In any de decision I'd make, I'll get it if I choose the other one. There was a case where I, I had to play uh, Jose Rizal and there were two movies about Rizal and you can't play in both if you played one and so, you know, things like that. And even in your childhood, you, you get things. That, and about, you know, your, your, your attachment to us being Filipino, your racial pride being, you know, being yeah. proud about Pinoy's about, you know, you have this uh, um, nationally but being patriotic about it. and. Um, through my also research about playing when while I was playing Jose Rizal, which was like kind of of the same era but a little yeah. earlier, so you put all this as a, you know um, places to where you're working on and just choose from the buttons to 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 use for for, for Raphael. So it was very clear for me, and um, all these conflicts was uh, very real. Because I've been through that, yeah. and you just you magnify it, uh, explore, height and then, and then get the real assets of Raphael. You're getting pretty comfortable here. I have to live with these people. No, Lieutenant, you gotta make war on these people. Um, you know, there's been other films that, you know, maybe an Asian actor, Filipino or not, is their role is not very big. Yeah. But in this film, it really, you know, the Filipino actors are just as important to the yeah. film. Yeah. And how important was that when watching it back? Um, how important is that to have a film that really showcases Filipino actors, the Philippines, and 
they're not cut out. They're not secondary actors. Right. They are the main characters of right, the film. Right, right. Uh, yeah, that was the, the would, would, be, would, be, would be shown as, uh, you know, exotic bodies in the background. Yeah. And just like, um, you know, uh, part of the sceneries. And this time, uh, my hat's off to John that he re wrote real characters that are based from, you know, um, from facts. And that made us feel good. The Filipino cast said, oh, finally, yeah. uh, we're, we're being represented. We're not just, uh, yeah, like what I said. And, uh, and the, the common thing was, it's about time. Yeah. We get to be shown like as, yeah. real, as, as Filipinos. And the one thing great about John is uh, he, re he really got the sensibility of the Filipinos. He wrote the characters as, as if a, a Filipino wrote a Filipino character. Yeah. So I guess in, in his research, he was able to, to, to get the Filipino persona through, through characters like, um, like Rafael, yeah. which is a big deal for us. Um, and I hope it will be a start of other, other productions that will write about uh, real characters or our Filipino characters. So we were so ho so happy and and you know um, a lot of our actors said yeah yeah uh, it could be a big break for Filipino actors outside. It's not that we are you know this is really our focus on things, but things like this happen with such a welcome treat yeah. for us. I think. All right. Well, thank you so much. It was thank amazing you. talking to um, acting legend, of course, Joel Torre. I have to. <laughs> that call, makes I mean, me very I, old. No, 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 no. You have to understand. A hundred. I mean, that's insane. A hundred films. That's that's absolutely amazing. And make sure you go out and check out um, amigomovie.com dot com to get more Please information. Do, yeah. And amigo, support it. And it was so good talking to you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Chris. Thank you for the um, opportunity. Thank you for talking with yeah. us at Pack Room. We we appreciate honored. it. So thank you, Pack Room. <laughs>